Bronchiolitis and croup are two very common respiratory viral infections that are responsible for a large proportion of um, presentations of children at paediatric A&E. Um, so they can get a little bit confusing to distinguish between and they're caused by completely different agents and they're managed slightly differently as well. So first of all, bronchiolitis is inflammation of the small airways, the bronchioles, due to respiratory syncytial virus or RSV. Whereas croup is more of an upper airway problem where you get inflammation of the larynx and the trachea due to parainfluenza. So bronchiolitis presents with a dry cough, shortness of breath and a wheeze. So it's important to remember that uh, children wheeze um, for a number of different reasons. And the main reason that they are so predisposed to developing a wheeze is because their airways are already pretty small. So it only takes a small amount of inflammation to narrow these airways ever so slightly more to the point at which it causes this whistling sound as air passes in and out of it. On the other hand, croup, uh, again, there's some common features, so shortness of breath and fever and a cough um, are, are common to both. However, the croup cough is classically described as being a barking cough, so that's something I'd recommend looking up on YouTube. Um, it's described as being a seal-like barking cough, and it really is quite an accurate description. So once you've heard it, you'll be able to recognize it uh, straight away. Um, and most importantly, it causes stridor as well. So instead of cause, causing a wheeze, um, it causes stridor. And I'm going to talk about uh, what well, the difference is between these two terms in a moment. So with both bronchiolitis and croup, as with a number of other diagnoses in pediatrics, it's primarily a clinical diagnosis. So in adults, we are far, um, we have a much lower threshold basically for doing all sorts of imaging and blood tests. However, in kids, especially because it's stressful and it can require certain um, more in, in, intensive measures like sedation to do certain scans, etc., uh, we tend to base a lot of decisions on, uh, on the clinical presentation and, and how we perceive uh, the child in front of us. So in both cases, it's very much a clinical diagnosis, which is, why, which is why it's important to appreciate the differences between these two respiratory conditions. Bronchiolitis usually just gets better by itself. It's a case of keeping the child comfortable using simple analgesia. Um, one thing to note, though, is that bronchiolitis can cause quite severe infection in uh, certain vulnerable children. So especially those that are preterm can get quite severe bronchiolitis. And they may be given this monoclonal antibody called palivizumab uh, to prevent uh, these uh, severe bronchiolitis infections. With croup, the mainstay of managing it is a single dose of 0.15 milligrams per kilogram of dexamethasone. If the child has a very significant airway compromise, then they should be put on oxygen because they're likely to be hypoxic and nebulized adrenaline is also used to try and settle down the inflammation and open up those upper airways. So the vast majority of cases of bronchiolitis and croup will not require inpatient management. However, it is important to be aware of the red flags and, and in peds it ends up being um, quite a skillful sort of uh, feel based thing to be totally honest so uh, you can see that the red flags here are kind of nebulous so looking very unwell severe respiratory dis distress those are both to some extent subjective um, however they are all important to uh, bear in mind so if any of those criteria are fulfilled they definitely need further attention so I'm just going to briefly touch upon the difference between wheeze and stridor. So here we have a normal set of lungs and airways and if you put your stethoscope um, somewhere under your axilla and take a deep breath in and out you'll hear the normal vesicular breath sounds which is a prolonged inspiratory phase, a bit of a gap and then an expiratory phase. So wheezing is caused by the small airways within the thorax becoming narrowed and it usually causes this rattling high-pitched sound that happens during the expiratory phase and you also get a prolonged expiratory phase as well. Stridor, on the other hand, is caused by an upper airway obstruction or a narrowing of some form, such as in croup, and it primarily causes uh, this harsh sound when patients take a deep breath in. So it may also cause an abnormal sound when uh, they're breathing out, but primarily it's an inspiratory noise. Thank you.